Good afternoon and welcome to Stair Park for this Singe League 2 match between Stranraer and Edinburgh City. Brought to you in association with our online sponsors, GT Mortgages. I'm Lawrence Nelson. Beside me on the mic is Brian Martin. And behind the scenes, we've got Simon Sullivan and George Frank. Brian, good afternoon to you. I'm a bit relieved, perhaps, that uh, this game was on after the torrential rain earlier today. Well, I drove down for Lana this morning, Lawrence. It absolutely poured all the way down to, to Stranraer through Dumfries and before we get underway, Brian, do you want to bring us the team news from our visitors today, Edinburgh City? Yeah, so for City of the Day, in goals is Brian Swap, uh, number five is Ben Stalin, eight will be Callum Tapping, number nine, Uzi C, ten is Danny Handlin, fifteen will be Cami Logan, sixteen, Jack Bryden, twenty three, Ennis Murray, twenty six, John Robertson, twenty nine, Michael Travis, and thirty, Callum Crane. On the bench for them is twenty, Jack Leefield. Four, Lee Hamilton, who used to play for us, of course. Yep. Twelve, Lucas John Berry, very posh. Fourteen, James Farrell. Nineteen, Ryan Shanley. And twenty-two, Siren Bryan. So the Stranraer lineup is the same which started at Kelty last Saturday. In goals, Luke Scullion in front of... In fact, that is that was a change late in the day last Saturday. Luke was brought in literally just before kick-off. In front of Luke, Scott Robertson, Sean Burns, Ayrton Sonker, Tommy Muir... Grant Gallagher, Paul Woods, Sam Ellis, Craig Ross, Jinky Hilton, who of course made the move back to Stranraer from Edinburgh City a couple of weeks ago, and Matty Yates, subkeeper Jack Baker, also on the bench Anton Brady, Brock Watson, Josh Walker, Dean Hawkshaw, Michael Mullen, Sean McIntosh, Ross Smith and Daryl Duffy. Referee for this afternoon's game is Graham Granger, Robert Rice, the club vice chairman, leading the Stranraer players out into the centre of the pitch. Quite a point day for Robert. Robert is, I think, 59. 59 today, today. Just going to stay quiet for a minute or two while this tribute is, play, is paid to Sean Niven. A nice tribute there to Sean Niven. Brian, so sad. Um, Sean, I fit my man through and through. Um, he would have wanted things to carry on, the football to happen, and he'd be very keen to find out who <laughs> Stranraer do on an ongoing basis. It's so quite, sad that he's not with us. I'm quite sure. So let's go on with the fit now, guys. Aye, absolutely. Uh, just still a bit windy, Lawrence, but uh, hopefully the football t will cheer us up, eh, Lawrence. So City on the ball. Up the left there, aimed at C, and actually it's Innes Murray who runs towards it, and that's a very early corner. Early corner. Edinburgh City, 12 seconds on the clock. It looks like Handling will take this. Oh. And that's straight in, oh direct dear. from the corner. Oh dear, And that oh is 35 dear. seconds on the clock. And I make that Handling in 35 seconds, straight from the corner. Another set piece, Lawrence. We were talking about it in the, p the podcast during the week. The defence just isn't set up right, and uh, what a start. It's and exactly the same as the first goal at Kelty last Saturday, Brian. A cross came in, nobody attacked the ball. Yep. Craig Ross. And, and Rob Hilton, as well on Hilton side. could have gone for that. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> a right bit of indecision there in Edinburgh defence. A bit of. It's heading. So it's a southwesterly wind behind it. Now, Sranraer not clearing this, and that is a shot from Callum Tapping. Very close, Lawrence, again. Wide. Yep, yeah, here's this, here's this corner again. Good play by Robertson. Yeah, oh, Robertson. Brilliant. Go, Martin. Lovely ball from Robertson. Yates oh, needed to be sharper, Brian. Yeah, just, I think he was caught in his heels there, Lawrence. Yeah. The wee man. He Handling. Handling got the better of him, but the ball comes back to Stranraer anyway. Burns. Now, one for Woods to run onto. He's got Robertson alongside him. Yes. 
Jinky Hilton. Oh, oh Jinky. And what a miss what? by Jinky. Oh, Jinky. Great opportunity by the wee man to level. Brian, that was a real miss. You know, he's just put his foot through it, Lawrence. He Brian Martin, the Carol Kirkwood of the Stair Park Media team, with the, the weather update here. No, he's, oh, he's offside. It's got to be offside, yeah. and the flag does go up. Oh. And there you have the danger of a late flag, yeah, Brian. That's right, aye, Luke Scullion right. would never have had to come out no. and make that tackle. And straight back to the visitors. Here is C, but Ayrton Sonker gets the header. Gallagher, Burns, Tommy Muir brought down. Oh, Quickly taken, here's Robertson. Hilton. Oh, and gee. Another glaring miss by Paul Woods, and Tommy Muir is furious with that one. That was begging a goal. Brian oh. Martin, you could have put that one in the net. Oh, that's, I mean, that's. It reminds me the last game against Edinburgh City didn't hear Lawrence. The chances we created, yeah. still can they take them? You know, in Edinburgh for us, Lawrence, is it? Uh, I would imagine so, yeah. yeah. I'd be interested to know how that's felt for City fans. Has no. it been beneficial or not? Here's Matty Yates up the right wing. He's got help in the middle if he can get the ball in. Scott Robertson. And that is blocked by Schwocky. Again, Robertson, I think, had it on target at least, yeah. Brian. Yeah. So now, um, so now I need to be aware that balls played forward will, will you know, will, will not go as far oh, as they thought. Jinky Hilton in now, surely. Oh. Offside. Offside given. Actually, that could come, come off the, the Edinburgh City defender, that offside, actually. Come off uh, Jamie Hamill's seen that. Yep. It wasn't offside, actually. Come off a player with a yellow shirt, so surely be fair, the line offside. on the far side. The ref, ref could have seen it. Robertson. Tapping. It's unlucky, man. Could have been a handball, that could be dangerous. Oh, it's Sam Ellis, you know. And it's the Swipe danger still the not cleared here. That cross was allowed to go across the Stranraer goal mouth. And uh, a bit of a comedy error, that's it to a defender though. Robbo gets ahead to it. Woods, Lovely to Stelton, Woods, nice yeah. pass. And a dummy from Muir, he's in thinking that Yates in behind could get it at the front. back post, should get that, and he does. Hilton in a rare old tussle there. Woods into it. Hilton's there. One of them has to take the ball. Jinky Hilton lifts it into Yates. Parries it back to Gallagher. And oh, what, what a topper a shot from Grant Gallagher, Brian Martin. A bit of decent, steam off of Grant there. Save from about 30 yards out. Goalkeeper spilled it, but it was actually maybe a good save, actually. It was a good shot on yeah, target, to yeah, be fair to yeah. Grant Gallagher. Down there, C completely takes Tommy Muir out of play there. A, I'm not quite sure it was illegal, but he does it anyway. Lawrence, yeah. you know, this is the danger. Lovely ball through, oh, and that was a, a dreadful a touch by Innes Murray. Yeah, that was poor. Yeah, City had the Stranraer defence. Tommy Muir telling yeah. the referee that Uzi C took him out of play yeah. at the other yeah. end. I, think he's I thought he stopped the, the no, game. No, it was a collision, Lawrence, but uh, no foul. He, I thought he'd actually stopped the game. Here's no. Woods trying to turn Gallagher into the box to Hilton, who's now over at the right-hand side. Oof. Oh. And Hilton, no luck at all for Sonora. That comes back off the oh, inside of the very, post. Very, very unfortunate. That was a fantastic turn and shot by Jinky Hilton. Craig John Robertson tries to set C away, and that is half time. A minute injury time played. I'm not sure where referee Graham Ginger got it from, but Brian, half time at Steer Park, Sonora 0, Edinburgh City 1. More misery for Stranraer, you have to say. What's going on? Ah, uh, terrible start, Lawrence. Uh, as you say, 35 seconds into the game. You know, and they score direct from a corner. To be perfectly honest, I don't think Stranraer's done too much wrong after that. You know, we've been the far the better team, but we just kind of put the ball in the net, Lawrence. You know, uh, it's got to change in the second half. We'll have wind advantage, but whether that's uh, an advantage, I don't know, because uh, Stranraer's going to play well against the wind. Uh, but, I mean, Edmund seemed quite content with that one goal. Uh, well. they, 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 they played Stranraer on the break, you know, but... Uh, Hi, interesting second half coming up, I'm quite sure. So it's Edinburgh City with the advantage as the players go in gratefully out of the wind and rain at half time. Half time at Steer Park, Stranraer 0, Edinburgh City 1. Join us for the second half. Apologies if you've had any issues with uh, sound on the commentary. Don't know whether it was the wind or whether it was a technical issue. And uh, oh, the boys are on a bit there. Oh, that's ridiculous. That uh, seems a very rash decision by Graham Granger. Tommy, you're getting a straight red card. It certainly looked I mean, like a foul, Brian. Yeah, it's a foul, but whether it's a red card, Lawrence, I don't know. You know, the boy rolled a bit. He's all, we'll wait, wait and see, but... Jamie Hamill's not very pleased. I mean, that that's crazy. You know, that is... Matty Yates, quick corner to Woods. 
Oh, I thought Woods would have returned it to Yates. He does it eventually. Now. Yates is deflected. Oh. Oh. And okay, what, a, what a miss. Craig <laughs> Ross. In his foot. Yep. Craig Ross's shot kind of hurpled wide. I thought Sonkham right. helped me strip. Mullen is getting stripped. Gallagher lifts it forward. Woods brings it down. Here's Hilton to Woods. And he gets a shot away. Oh, that's unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Second time in the that's afternoon. twice. Uh, Stenard denied by the bar. Sorry, the, the, you know, the it's, post. It's hard for these to rather than the, even in front this game, Lawrence. You know, the, the chances they've had. It's uh, really unbelievable. Two, it's um, City got it away. Here it will come again. It's Paul Woods through the middle. And a it's crucial bit, intervention yeah. by Callum Cream. Cream stops the ball getting to Hilton. Here's Sean Burns across to Brock Watson. We'll get his first touch into the box. Nah, he's too far. Yeah. If someone had thought about that a bit sooner, Bick. That yeah, wasn't a foul. Either. No, no foul. Craig Ross through the middle. Hilton, Hilton turns, gets a shot away. Oh, it's there. Oh, just and Michael Mullen, just a wee bit. Yep. Second quicker. ball yeah. was required there. Yeah, I mean, that is probably if Tom Muir were in the park, he'd been. Up. If he lifted his leg, he would probably be high feet. That's a slack pass. Ah, I don't from know what Sean, Burns. Hey, Sean Burns was thinking about there, honestly. His handling. And that is sealed he's away here. Sealed away and, he's, and he's also got help yep. arriving in the form of Logan. Here's tapping. Back to Uzi C. Back out. In it comes. And Danny handling. Wins all three points for Edinburgh City. Yet again, the Stranraer defence seem to un misunderstand what the rule is in the game. And uh, by my reckoning, Handling gets his second of the game. And I'll tell you what, Brian, that you'll never see an easier goal for a striker. I mean, it it's uh, really poor it's again laughable. for Stranraer, really poor. Uh, probably City's second chance in goal, and they've scored, you know. It's really... Yeah. Unless Annan and Forth are absolutely collapsed. Uh, Oh, oh Stallion mistimed his run there. Stranraer got away with that. Uh, Gallagher punts it forward at the other end. Here's Brock Watson to Robertson at the edge of the box. Robertson can't get it through. Duffy, Duffy comes on and does, oh. and that shouts for a shouts penalty. For a penalty. I don't know. Didn't really Again, see it. I mean the it. keeper. Yeah. Looked, looked a goal. Duffy gets it to Scott Robertson. Robertson needs to get it into the box, Brian. Yep. Here's Mullen. Michael Mullen. Oh. Oh. And that's a corner. No, it didn't hit anybody, Lawrence. <laughs> City City's managed to scramble away with some combination of scrambled touches and nice touches. And a card comes out for Callum Tapping. Shoot. That's it's it's a lesson in finishing. That's true. Uh, Brock Watson's put that far too far in front of him. He managed to keep it in, but uh, well, only, the spin, yeah, only at the expense of giving possession away. Yeah, big song slipped there at a bad time. Uh, that's a lovely ball through. 23. He can finish it big time here, and he doesn't. And He should have finished it. You have to say a combination yeah. of Innes Murray and Lucas John Berry and some belated last-ditch defending. Um, City have wasted a chance. Yes. Uh, to Mullen. It's fair to say the City player got the ball first, mind you. Here's Mullen. It's quite nice here, be Mullen. He has to have a shot. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely dreadful shot, but <laughs> he has to have a shot. That's it. Mm, Referee Graham Granger puts us out of our misery. I have to say, Stranraer nil Edinburgh City 2, Brian Martin. That was an absolutely woeful performance by Stranraer well two, two incidents changed the game Lawrence for me the first goal for Edinburgh in 35 seconds you left an uphill struggle Tom Muir's a red card straight after the start of the second half again you left uh, another up, uphill struggle you know and it's, it's just we just cannot keep on shooting ourselves in the foot you know I thought we played fine first half you know we made plenty of chances should have scored two or three we didn't come the second half I say big Tom gets sent off and they, I mean, they were they were quite happy just to defend, you know. After that, and Tom, Tommy Muir's red card. We'll have another look at that when the highlights come out. That'll take care of itself when we see it again. But that uh, 35 second goal, you cannot just watch a ball 
flying straight from the corner into the net and expect to win a game of football. It's just concentration, Lawrence. You know, I mean, you've got to be to a defender. You've got to concentrate 90 minutes. No, you know, yeah. between five and 85. You've just got to concentrate. The second goal, I mean, the boy was just allowed to drift in and score. You know, Jamie's got loads to work today with that with the defeat. I mean, final question for you, Brian: Is that some last chances of top four? Oh, going very, it's very, very hard now, Lawrence. Very, very hard. You know, as I say, Edinburgh City have got two. I'll keep on repeating myself: the two games I've got in hand, they should win. That would put them twelve in front of us. You know, at this stage of the season, you know. So, uh, plaudits go to Edinburgh City. Very good win on the road for them. Yet again at Steyr Park, Stranraer nil, Edinburgh City two. Thanks for watching Stranraer FC live in conjunction with GT Mortgages. Next week we're away at Elgin City. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>